Hello everyone, I'm William from ASRock and today I'm going to teach you how to check your ASRock motherboard BIOS version, update it and clear the CMOS. For this demonstration I'll be using an AM4 motherboard. If you have another ASRock motherboard there might be some differences in the available update methods and the procedure might be slightly different. A lot of people will ask themselves when or why should I update the BIOS? You update your BIOS when a newer version is required to support a new processor or other hardware or to fix bugs and improve stability and performance of the motherboard. The CPU support list on our website shows the minimum BIOS version required for your CPU and the descriptions on the BIOS download page can help you decide if an update might be useful for your system. Now we do not recommend that users update their BIOS if their system is already running normally. Now there are three ways you can update. You can update from within the BIOS, under DOS, or under Windows. When you're flashing the BIOS, Please do not remove your USB drive until the procedure is finished completely and do not turn off or restart your computer in the middle of the process. Any of those actions will cause a major system failure. Patience is key to a safe BIOS update. There are two methods for updating the BIOS using Instant Flash. For the first method, please save the BIOS file on a USB flash drive or hard disk. Make sure that the drive is formatted as FAT32 and that the downloaded file is unzipped. Press F2 while on this page to get into the BIOS setup menu. Select the instant flash utility under the tool menu to execute it. ASRock Instant Flash will automatically detect all devices and only list those BIOS versions which are suitable for your motherboard. Select the BIOS version you want and flash it. Wait until the procedure has finished and you are asked to restart the system. Give the system some time to boot completely. When this is done, you can remove the USB flash drive if you want. For the second method, also save the BIOS file on a USB flash drive or hard disk. Make sure that the drive is formatted as FAT32 and that the downloaded file is unzipped. Press F6 while on this page to start Instant Flash. Select the BIOS version you want and flash it. This method might not be available on some models. Remember to keep the USB flash drive connected at least until the system has restarted and booted completely. First, create a bootable USB flash drive. Download the file for the DOS update method from the ASRock website. Unzip the downloaded file and copy all unzipped files to the root of the bootable USB flash drive you created. Boot from the prepared USB flash drive. At the DOS prompt, type DIR and press Enter. You should see an EXE file that contains the BIOS for your motherboard. Type in the file name and press enter. The program will check the model name. When prompted, press any key to reboot the system. After the system restarts, it'll automatically update the BIOS. Again, please do not power off during the UEFI update. When the BIOS upgrade is complete, it will show press enter. Press enter to reboot. After the system restarts, press F2 to enter the BIOS setup utility during boot up. In the exit menu, please select load default settings or press F9 and press enter to continue. Select exit saving changes or press F10 and press enter to exit the BIOS setup utility. The system will restart and the update is complete. 
Now you can safely remove the USB flash drive. Before starting the update under Windows, please close all open programs. If your system is unstable under Windows, then please use another BIOS update method. Download the file for the Windows update method from the ASRock website. Unzip the downloaded file. Open the ASRock underscore AM4 folder. Start the update BIOS batch file. The system will start to flash the BIOS. After the flashing is complete, the system will reboot automatically. When the system has restarted, the BIOS will be updated to the downloaded version. There are six ways of finding the BIOS version. On every ASRock motherboard, there is a sticker on the BIOS chip. The sticker shows the default BIOS version. In Windows mode, there are three ways. You can use monitoring or information tools like CPU-Z to check the BIOS version. Another way is to click on Start Run or press the Windows key plus R to start run. Then type MSINFO32 or MSINFO32. This will open up the System Information window. Select System Summary and the BIOS version will be indicated in the right pane. Or you can click on Start Run or type Windows key plus R to start run, then type CMD. The command prompt will show up. Enter the command System Info and look for the line beginning with BIOS version. Or you can click on Start Run or type Windows key plus R to start run. Type RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Then go to H key local machine hardware description system. Look for the following entries in the right pane. System BIOS version and system BIOS date. Now I will explain how to clear your CMOS. On some ASRock motherboards, you will find a clear CMOS button. In that case, you can just press the button to reset the CMOS. If your motherboard does not have this button, or if using the button does not have the desired effect, then you can use a jumper on the motherboard. Disconnect the system power. Remove the CMOS battery. Finding the CMOS jumper is easy. It's a three-pin jumper that is usually located near the CMOS battery. If you cannot find it, then please check the schematic overview in the user manual. The jumper will be covering two of the three pins. Move the jumper to the other two pins to clear the position. Press and hold the power button on your computer for about 10 to 15 seconds. This will discharge any remaining power stored in the PSU. This will make the BIOS reset. Leave the system in this state for 15 minutes, then place the CMOS jumper back to its original position. Place the CMOS battery back and reconnect the system power cable. It's important that the system is completely disconnected from power before you start this procedure. Also remember to put the jumper back into its original position before you start the system again. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in ASRock motherboards or you have any other questions about our products, please visit our website or Facebook. See you next time.